Hello and welcome to another Geek Moment. I'm Travis and today we're going to take a little peek into the world of renewable energy. Today we're going to take a look at the Linear Technology DC 2042A Evaluation Board for Energy Harvesting. We're also going to take a look at the Marlow Thermoelectric Generator or TEG. First up is the Linear Tech Evaluation Board. This comes with four separate circuits for energy harvesting. There's a piezoelectric circuit, a TEG circuit, a diode voltage drop circuit, and a solar cell circuit. Each of these are clearly marked, making it easy to see which circuit you're using. And they're all directly linked to this 3.3 volt regulated output. This board makes the connection very easy with any one of these modules, almost a plug and play experience. The board also comes with a manual, which is key in the setup process. There's a lot of uh, steps and jumpers that need to be moved around and it's good to know where your inputs and outputs are before you get started. Our energy source today is going to be heat, which will bring us to the Marlow TEG. This is a great place to start if you're looking at energy harvesting. It comes with two wire leads, which are easy for hookup. And I've made it a little easier still by uh, soldering on these alligator clips. This uses a Peltier module which is used to convert heat energy into electric energy. The heat rating on the TEG is 85 degrees Celsius or 185 degrees Fahrenheit. At maximum temperature, its output is at about 400 millivolts, so that's a good way to know when you're at the maximum temperature. It's, it's not meant to be run continuously at 85 degrees, as that's the maximum temperature. This, the board, um, here also has a 20 millivolt to 400 millivolt range, so we're good there. It, once it gets to the 20 millivolt range, it will, um, it will give you the 3.3 output that you're looking for. So we'll get this hooked up now to the multimeter and look at the output on the module itself. Now that we've seen the voltage output on the module itself, we can hook it up to the board and we can take a look at the voltage output once it's been regulated. The positive and negative are swapped on the module itself. That's a little bit inconvenient. Nothing too bad. All right, and then we're gonna have to heat up the module again. If you're looking for voltage control on the output, this board isn't necessarily the best for that. Uh, once the module gets up to about 20 millivolts, which is the minimum on the circuit, you're going to see the voltage climb on the meter, and that'll stay at 3.3 volts once it gets there until the module cools and the capacitor drains. Now that we have an idea how the Marlow TEG works with the Linear Tech Evaluation Board, a question you might ask yourself is, what am I going to do with 3.3 volts of renewable energy? You can hook it up to an Arduino Pro, which opens up a world of opportunity. You could charge two AA cell batteries, which who knows what you could do with those. Or you can light an LED. If you'd like, you can check out these parts on our website at digikey.com. You can check out our EE Wiki blog, or there will also be a blog post to this video as well. Thanks for watching.